gentlemen, the drivers can't hear you, but they can see you. They're going to be waving this time. Bye. Don't be afraid to wave back. Wave your hat, your program, or whatever. They'd like to let you know they're saluting you as well, and they are ready to go racing. Again, this is a 25-lap event. Pace Quicken's on the backstretch. Craig McGowan has the green flag in hand. Green is out, and we're underway. A.J. Zuzulo, car number 0-2, out in front. Anthony Stiaro in the 0-1. He's in that second spot, but we've got a car in trouble, as Lou Ciccone never made it to the start for rising. Off that fourth turn, it's side-by-side -side action as we return to green. Once again, it looks to be the 0-2 of A.J. Zuzulo out front. He's got the field covered for the time being. But look at Richie Coy in the 12th car on the inside, looking to get by any Storero in the 0-1. Top five cars stacking up, everybody looking for the leader. Meanwhile, back in the pack, it's tightly run. They dart all over the racetrack. Very quick little speedsters, as they call them. The wings help to stabilize, but the drivers push that pedal down looking for the mat. Meanwhile, out front, A.J. Zuzulo continues to maintain the number one position. Richie Coy not waiting for long, now challenges in turn number one. We could have a new leader at the end of the 300-foot long back straightaway. Richie Coy, car number 12, taking over command. All that's on the move is Johnny Payne, car number 17. Close call off turn number two, but everybody stays pointed in the right direction. Joe Lord runs in that fourth spot with car number seven. After that, a little bit of breathing room before we get back to position five, six, and seven. Seven laps completed. The field continues to stretch it out. Pedal to the metal all the way around the racetrack. Third generation driver on board, car number 12, from Ringwood, New Jersey. Running second, another racing family heard from is Johnny Payne, out of Baltimore, New Jersey, aboard the Yamaha Power two-stroke number 17. Looking to chase down our leader, unable to do it up till now. He shows nine laps complete on the scoreboard. This is a 25-lap event, folks. They're about as fast as anything that races with us in regular competition. These motorcycle engines put out a lot of RPM as they wind them real tight, almost continually around the speedway. You have to have confidence in your car to keep the throttle down through the turns. As you can see, our leader running into problems with a slower vehicle in the turns. But Richie Coy once around the back marker of Lee Kenzie quickly opens up a bit of breathing room. Halfway marker due out this time by. We're halfway home. Richie Coy continues to have the advantage. Back, car number 11 heads to the infield. He's got problems. Driver from Little Falls, New Jersey, calling it quick. As your leader comes down across the line with car number 12, only seven short circuits remain. Another car heading to the infield. It appears to be the 0-2 of A.J. Zuzulo. He's out of Briarcliff, New York. He's safely in the infield as we continue on to green flag condition. Richie Coy making a shambles of this one, folks. All but run away and hit from the field. Just a handful of laps remaining. We're down to a fresh five more circuits. Running second is the 17 of Johnny Payne out of Hawthorne, New Jersey. 
Running third is the seventh of Joe Ward out of Trenton, New Jersey. The driver's making the long haul, keeping up with the action in the American Three Quarter Division Racing Association. Barring anything unforeseen, Richie Joy about to start lapping some of the back markers with car number 12, continues his assault out on the speedway. Being a little bit more patient, the 12 car now navigating his way through some of the back markers. So two more times around being posted from the flag stand, Richie Coy, well within sight of the checkered flag, continues to be a bit cautious on the back stretch. He'd like to pick up the win here this afternoon. White flag is out last time around the block. Your leader, Richie Coy, working his way through the turns on a turn number four. The checker flag looks to fall as Richie Coy looks to pick up the win. Coy hailing from Ringwood, New Jersey, as he looks to pick up the win. Unofficially in for the second position, car number 17 for Johnny Payne from Hawthorne, New Jersey. Again, unofficially in for the third position, car number seven for Joe Lord. Driver, his dad, by the way, and crew chief, is second generation driver Johnny Coy. He's down here to celebrate the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 25 lap feature all the way from Ringwood, New Jersey as Richie Coy picks up a well-deserved victory. He was a 1992 TQ Rookie of the Year. Ran third in points last season, was voted the most improved, and I think you see why he gets the job done. He picks up all the glory that goes along with it.